All right, everyone, welcome back and skit. Guys, guys, there are monsters here. There are monsters in the city. It's okay. Those monsters don't attack people. They actually <coughs> have quite a gentle temperament. But they're monsters. I mean, look at those claws. Let me give you an example to illustrate Alfin's point. At a quick glance, Gaius here looks like quite an unfriendly man. Downright terrifying, as I might say. Well, that's a great way to start. <laughs> does that mean that he's necessarily a scary person on the inside? No, I like his highness. He takes me shopping sometimes. He does? Hmm. I wonder. Just like Gaius, with a surprising affinity for children, you can't judge every book a monster by its cover. And in Gaius's case, I'm sure spending time with you conjures up happy memories of doting on his own little sister. As another example, you're far more alert than I'd expect a man your age to be, Rowan. I'm pleased your nerves are as spry as your mouth. Oh, oh geez. nothing. But you know it's poor form to tease the elderly. What happened? Why are they fighting now? Oh, don't pay them any mind. Some people show their embarrassment in odd ways. <laughs> <laughs> That's guys for you guys. Big old nerd. Oh, yeah. And yeah, let's continue Jude's story. Okay. Chapter 3, Jude's Duty. Okay. The aerial arena is as lively as ever. I just can't get excited about it, though. This sort of thing has always been lost on me. Let's see. Huh, it's just not, it's, well, it's just not your thing. Nice to know you're not questioning my manliness or anything. Factor dimension time. Hi ho! Nope. No, no Nova here. You're on a monster eradication job. You want it? Don't answer. I don't care. You're taking it. Bitch. <laughs> big deal. There've been civilian casualties on everything. So go get 'em, Tiger. And don't feel obligated to thank me for the hookup. Although I wouldn't turn down flowers or a free lunch. I wouldn't turn down free lunch either. Anyway, <laughs> you had free lunch today. Shush. I know. That's why. <laughs> Oh. Good luck. Well, time to get to Lavari Ho Hollow. Guy kicks a monster butt. Are we gonna I get lost? Was Nova. Uh, Mind if I tag along? Nah, probably not. What about Celsius? We've been looking everywhere since she vanished, but still no leads. I'm tired of twiddling my thumbs. I want to get out and do something. I approve. A little action is good for you. I'll lend a hand too. It's a lovely day to kill monsters. It is a lovely day to kill monsters, and we're gonna do this as our team because this will probably actually be this is actually gonna be our team in the next chapter, actually. So spoiler alert there: these losers are gonna be in our team. So we're gonna do anything. You, Mila, get the honor of throwing items on us. Anyway, to Lavari Hollow and away. And away. Before we do go to Lavar Hall, I do want to check Jude's arts for a second. Yay, he got stuff. Okay, he did get beast. I didn't realize that actually. Cool. So, alien orbs. Roop. Buddy, take something else. Uh, Mom's so. home. Here, take this uh, ultimate fertile soil. Anyway. Nova. Sounds like you're working hard out there, huh? It's been a pleasure working with you. Nah, I got the I already got all the treasure and stuff here, I think. So. Oh, here we gotta see it. Of course! That has to be it! And with spyrites, if we use this formula. Uh, I just had an idea related to my research. I wanted to get it down before I forgot. Sorry, didn't mean to surprise you like that. Aww. Mm. No problem. I know it's important to you. Nice try, but I know you're writing a love letter. 
Love letter to those spirits, right? You always understand what I'm trying to say. It's like we're already old friends. <laughs> yeah, I know. How are you supposed to respond when I say something like that? Sorry. Forget I mentioned any of this. Quit being so embarrassing, dude. Seriously. Why you make Lord. people uh, ship, you, ship you and Luger together and you say stuff like that? Hey, plant. What? Why is it? Before we do anything, I gotta go <sighs> speak to people. Oh, Sarah. Sarah posted, see your favorite Kit Kat flavors transformed into gorgeous anime, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta look at that post. Gotta look at that later. I gotta look at this now. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. I get my 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 mind sidetracked. Let's see what my favorite is. What your favorite uh, hot Kit Kat guy is? Kit Kat dark is your type. Well, I say yeah, pretty much. Glasses guy. Someone's here. We better warn them about the monsters. Gotta go fast. Run across that bridge, Luger. Oh my god, Sarah. <laughs> well, you can transform almost anything into a hot anime guy. Jesus. Hey, Mint's also your type. Yeah, I say. I think glasses. the dar dark one's a little better, though. I like the dark one. Yeah. She loves glasses, guys. I've never actually grown out of that st out of that anime uh, stereotype, though, the glasses one. You did for a while, though. I remember that all too well. Something about a character with glasses that just makes them so intriguing, and you get everything. Because it makes them, it makes them look like they've got a dark secret to hide or something. Yeah. Something hidden behind those eyes that you just can't see from the glass. And also, ten and also a lot of times, people with glasses for some reason seem to always be bad guys. Because they're they're they intelligent. Their, they because take their glasses off, and all of a sudden they're evil. They're intelligent. That's they look intelligent, so you think they've got to be bad guys. You know they got to be evil. Well, they usually are. Okay. Oh, we have enough life bottles. Don't need that. Apparently, dude, you saw people, so we gotta find the find said people. At least there are no guys in here. Well, there's monsters, but well, monsters. no Exodus guys. Oh my God, this isn't like last. This isn't like before, like last time. There's no Exodus people here. Thank goodness. You don't want Exodus people? Not really. Hmm. Well, they're still around, so too bad. I could live without them, though. Uh, anyway. I'm pretty sure everybody could live without them. I mean, look what they did to that train. Yeah, that was bad, wasn't it? Uh, first five, more than bad, first like disastrous. It's like first five minutes of the game, guys, and we got a train wreck. Ah, oh, see, I see, there it is. There's a freaking. Yeah, that wasn't just bad. That was genocide. <laughs> yeah, see, there it is, right down there. There's that freaking elite monster. That's a piece of shit. <laughs> running really weird. Look at it. Uh, it was it was running really funny. It is literally probably one of the worst elite monsters in this game, just because of how you have to fight it. It's strong to all elements. And uh, and because of the way and the way it is, you have to actually uh, yeah. So yeah, you have to like once you uh, beat it, it splits into like two forms, and you got to beat those two forms and so on. Hmm. It's really annoying. Hey, you better not. Anyway, we gotta go find people, exterminate them monsters. Uh oh, that's not them monsters though. You it out again, thanks to my friend. Um, you can actually use your partner, your linked art partner's Mystic Art. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. So, yay for figuring that out. Actually, I'm pretty sure if it was up to my boyfriend right now, I'd probably be pregnant at this point. Probably. Yeah, he wants kids really bad. Ah, uh, but not ready for chi for the children. I don't know. If it happens, it happens, I suppose. Mm. That's what <laughs> I'm at this stage in my life where I'm like, I want kids. You know, I wouldn't mind having a baby, but I mean, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, cool. If it don't, it don't. 
Exactly. If I don't, it means I get to go traveling for the next few years. If not, I get to enjoy the wonders of parenthood. <laughs> Who knows? There we go. Hello there. Monster things. Luger. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> just, just wanna, you need to know now, like, whenever you do this video, put a quote in. It just says, oh my, in there. So I <laughs> put a clip of that and just put, and put it added into that point. Okay. I don't care. Okay. It was George Takei that said that, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll find one. <laughs> For lols. So let's see if I, if I actually do this right. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's what we need. There we go. Okay, yeah. L1X, same time. That's what we need. Still my favorite link dart. We defeated it before there were casualties. Good job. You're getting stronger. Hey, you better not underestimate me. Guess who just got stronger? Yay! Oh, I got an E. Oh, I can't thank you enough. They came out of nowhere. I almost bought the farm, and without a single heart herb to show for it. Talk about tragic. You were looking for heart herbs? You're in the wrong place for that. You're better off searching closer to the mall. And I had to do my roll. Friend Kika did her Christmas roll. First, oh, well, first five star roll. I got another five star Jude. <laughs> but yeah, her first roll, she got Christmas Luger. I was like, you lucky hoe. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's me. I knew it. My husband is taking part in one of the clinical trials of your new spyrite device. Oh, I had no idea. Please tell him I'm thankful for his help. Never mind that. Why did you cancel the trials? Oh, that. The device was really helping him, too. We couldn't believe it when they insisted he stop using it. My husband is strong. He'll get by without it. But we're certainly not happy about the situation. Once you get used to doing something the easy way, it's hard to go back, you know? That's how I'd so feel if I was washing dishes by hand at work. If you're really grateful for our participation, but if the dishwasher broke and I had to start washing all the dishes by hand, would make me happier. that'd but be difficult. I imagine it would be. A defect? When will it be fixed? Well, don't tell me I'll need to keep gathering herbs for the rest of my life. Uh, please calm down. What? How dare you? I am perfectly calm, young man. No need to get angry with him, ma'am. I take full responsibility for stopping the clinical trials. We're doing everything we can to improve the devices. We just need a little more time. Please, will you bear with us? Well, I suppose I can hold out for a little while longer. A lot of people are counting on you, Dr. Mathis. Don't let us down. Rude. She was a delight. <laughs> she certainly made an impression. I guess I was a little overwhelmed. But I'm sure lots of other people share her feelings. Anyhow, we have a lead. I can't spend time moping. If I can just find Celsius again, I think I'll have a chance at the answer. I need to get back and review all the info just one more time. I can't give up now. And yeah, that's the end of chapter three. Mm. Aw. That train schedule you and we got really uh Jude Zillia the outfit. It, the more I See if we can put him back in his old clothing if we really wanted to. I think we're gonna leave him like this though, right? Yeah. I understand how deep and complex anyway, though, these railway systems are. Kinda head out of the bar hollow. We're going to head back to John Do. Hey.
Anyway, uh, you can probably as a let's see here. Do we have anything else we need to do? Character opposite wise. I will. Yeah. Something in Duval. Oh yeah, we have to drop. We have a thing to do. In oh, we do have something to do in Jean Du. Uh, if I recall correctly, let me just quick look at the job board. Because I know we have to do an, um, Duval. We have a thingy-madoggin, uh, job board thingy-madoggin to do. Thingy-madoggin? Thingy-madoggin. One sec. Uh, let me go to Tracy Kinship. In Jean Du! Yeah, we have to pick something up. We gotta get a Code J data disk and bring it back to Spirit's Corp. So let's see where that dude is. All the way there. We can go look for him. Okay. So, yeah. Run, Luger, run. This way? Are you here, buddy? Because, yes, we actually want to do this because we'll actually, um... Nope. Uh, we'll actually complete the side quest. The first time I did it, I kind of did forget about the whole J-Disc thing that Beasley told us he wanted us to do. These traces of kinship. Uh, I will admit I did forget about it. And what happened? Uh, I was called a hoe for forgetting about it. Oh. He just <laughs> said I was a big hoe for forgetting about it. <laughs> I was like, oh. I was like, why? Do I get something good from it? Yes. And I was like, oh. Then I felt even. Then I felt bad. She was like, you dumb hoe. Why you no do it? I'm like, I, did, I forgot you! And that's literally how that conversation went. <laughs> I, so, yeah, I'm a dumb ho sometimes, guys. When I, and I don't do things right. But we're doing it right this time. Oh, yes. Uh, since she told me you better remember to do it. Uh, angry face. Hey. I came across my accident. There's no way for me to see what's inside. You can have it. And we got a code J disc. Now, got it. we're gonna jump to Spirius. To the Spirius Corporation. Okay, let's do it. After this, we'll cut the episode off. Yep. Plus, I can <clears throat> and tell Kiko what I got for my Christmas roll. No Christmas Luger, but I did get a Christmas unit. One that I actually did want, too. Hey, Rideau, you asshole. Here's the disc. Well done, so this is the data Julius left then. It's probably more useless recording to trivial matters. Or it could be the logs of something interesting, like your past performance evaluations. Burr! Ugh. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Ugh. Rude. 33 fractured dimensions destroyed at this point. The power of the Kermat has oddly not increased at all over the past year. Is this really the utmost limit of my power? The clan? Oh, how I failed them. It was 15 years ago that former director Julius destroyed 33 fractured dimensions. 35 dimensions destroyed now. Heard a strange rumor from Rideau today. He's always been the type to get excited over rumors and nonsense. That said, I think this time he might actually be onto something worth investigating. That son of a... 38 fractured dimensions destroyed now. Turns out those rumors of that so-called bridge were true. Claudia's actions are alone proof of this. In order to protect him, she... It was a mistake! Even though it was pure coincidence, I found Claudia and the others. It's... It's my fault Claudia died. Claudia. Hmm. 49 fractured dimensions down. I fully understand the limits of my power. Despite my best efforts, I have not reached my full potential. I cannot activate the full chromatis. This right, Rideau and I will just be pawns for him. I've realized there's only one way I can escape all this. The Crescent Clan has always used their own family to achieve their ends. And now, I too must do the same. So, it was true all along then. What are you talking about? Julius never told you, Luger. He was using your watch, though it was your was his own, yes. Your watch was the key to activating the chromatis. It's one of a kind item that the bear is born with, which I mentioned already. They yes. quite pop out of the womb with that with that sucker. Ugh. No. That's impossible. Grandfather believed me and agreed to alter the family registry to aid me in my endeavor. Now he belongs to me. A whole new life lies ahead for me now. Hear that straight from the horse's mouth. He, would, he used your watch to steal your power and activate three quarters of the Chromatis' potential. He probably also interfered with you during, with your joining the company so his little plan would be discovered. Yeah, Julius pretty much used us. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Luger. Ha, <laughs> you were so... so you, were, you were a desperate man, huh, Julius? Just like me. 
So Julia's kind of a bitch. Ev, don't say that yet. There's more to this story than there really is, than what you just heard. Mm. Let's just say that. Alright, fair enough. Anyways, I think we should get the episode off here now, yes? Yep, I have stuff to deliver. Alright, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. I do videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys later, alright? Bye-bye.